everyone. So I am back for the second half of my Confessions of a YouTuber tag. The first half went up a few days ago and that was the first seven questions. So now I'm here to answer the second seven questions. So let's go ahead and get started. First question is what is your favorite video on YouTube? That is a very difficult question. Um, one of my very first favorite videos was David After Dentist, but that's kind of an old video now. Um, I really like I really like anything that makes me laugh. I don't think I have one favorite. I'm horrible at picking favorites, which is just sidebar if you don't already know that about me. Like I am horrible at picking favorites. So I like my favorite of anything changes on a very regular basis. So pretty much anything that makes me laugh will be my favorite YouTube video of the day, but that changes. I, I don't have one favorite. The next question is who is a YouTuber that you watch who you think deserves more views? Um, one of my favorite YouTubers is Daily Grace, and I know she has like a fair number of views, but like it's not even close to the millions, and I think that she's so funny, and it seems like she puts a lot of effort into her videos. So if you guys don't watch her videos already, um, you definitely should. It's just like youtube.com slash daily grace, and like I don't know her or anything. I just, I love her videos. I think she's so funny. So if you guys don't watch her, you definitely should because she's really funny. The next question is, what's one thing you're excited about this upcoming year? Well, um, 2012 is almost over, but uh, 2013, I'm excited about my birthday. I'm excited, which is in January, yay, I'm gonna be 23. I'm excited about hopefully camp in the summer again. Um, I'm excited about finishing university. I'm excited about being an adult and not knowing what I'm doing with the rest of my life. <sighs> um, there's no like big thing that's happening in 2013 that I know of yet. Anyway, uh, well, university is ending, sort of. The next question is, what is your most awkward filming moment? Um, I don't have any like super awkward ones. I, one time, or quite a few times, when I've been in here in my room filming, and like I hear my roommates walking down the hall, this was before like they really knew that I was doing videos, and I would like hear them and I'd be like, oh, shh, and I like wouldn't talk, and I'd just kind of sit there like awkwardly, and I'd be like, okay, they're gone. But I edited that stuff out. Um, once I figured out how to edit. So that wasn't that bad. I don't have any like horribly awkward moments. I'm kind of like naturally awkward, but I don't have any like, and not that I remember. If you know an awkward moment from one of my older videos and you wanna remind me down in the comments, that could be a thing. The next question is how long does it take you to prep for a video? Usually not that long, because like I said, I don't do like music stuff, which obviously would take a lot of time. And I don't do like makeup tutorial stuff, which would take a lot of time. I usually just kind of like sit down and talk. Um, so sometimes if I'm doing a tag video like this with questions, I'll kind of think about the questions beforehand, but even then, not really. And like my favorites videos, that's just kind of like an ongoing list throughout the month. And then I kind of collect those things. And it usually doesn't take me long to prep for a video. Like once I know, once I think about it and know what I'm going to film about, um, I can pretty much just sit down and start talking. There's not a lot of prep time that goes into my videos because it's pretty much just me talking to you without anything fancy pants. And I don't try to like be someone that I'm not because what's the point of that? I'm just like, I just sit down and talk to you the way I would talk to one of my friends. The next question is, are you wearing pants, shorts, skirt, or pajamas? I'm wearing my sweatpants. Ooh, black, black sweatpants. I was wearing jeans. Be proud of me, I wore jeans today, but then I was like, I'm home now. No more of being fancy, so I put on my sweatpants. My black sweatpants that are super comfortable and are probably gonna rip soon because I have had them for a very long time. I'm usually wearing sweatpants in videos. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Nine times out of 10, unless it's like a follow me around, in which case I have to be in public and I'm wearing real clothes. But nine times out of 10, I'm wearing sweatpants when I film. The last question is, what are you most proud of in life? Um, I'd have to say moving halfway across the country after I graduated from high school. I grew up in Ontario, that's where my mom lives, and that's where I graduated high school. And then the summer after grade 12, I moved about 3,000 kilometers away to Newfoundland, which is where I, I go to school. And not only had I never been to Newfoundland, I didn't know anyone there, no one from my high school, uh, was going to the university that I go to and I just kind of 
at the end of August, just kind of packed up and moved and was like, well, I hope I like it. I've never been there. I don't know anyone. And um, it's been like four and a half years now and I have some of the best friends in my life that I've met here. Um, and I'm just, I'm, pr I'm proud that I moved halfway across the country by myself. And like, I just totally did it 100% by myself. I was like, well, this is what I'm doing. I hope I like it. And I didn't rely on like my best friends in high school or like a boyfriend or something to be like, I have to go with you. I just kind of packed up and was like, well, this is what I'm doing with my life. Finger <laughs> fingers crossed it goes well. So this has been part two of my confessions of a YouTuber tag. So I tag all of you who are watching this to do the tag. Part one and part two, you can do it as one video or as two separate videos. And the questions are down in the description so you can either leave your answers as a comment or you can film your answers and leave it as a video response, whichever you prefer. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my Vlogmas videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.